Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we got a great one for you today. We've got a little automatic product slider here. When you hover over it, it's going to stop. It's going to show you the title, a little bit of info, and it's got a little buy now button. And you can flip between the products. When you take your mouse off, it's going to start rotating again. Then, of course, you can add as many products as you want. Go to whichever product you want to see. Click on the button. And it's going to take you to that product page or wherever it is you want to take your customers. So let's go back and I'll show you exactly how to build this. It's really easy. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Let's go down to where we want to work. And I'm simply going to delete our little slider here. OK, I've got a section, the blue tab inside. I've got a row, the green tab with two columns. In the first column, I'm going to add a simple Divi slider module. If we roll down, there's the slider. OK, by default, it gives you two little images there. Or two little slides, I should say. I'm going to delete the second one and we'll work on the first one, get it looking how we want. So I'm going to go into our first slide there. And let's use that same evening shoes or whatever it was. Whichever product you want to advertise there. Let's say buy now on the button. That takes them to the actual product itself. And inside, let's say get 25% off today only. Or again, obviously put in what it, whatever it is you want to put in there. I don't want to give them 254% off. Let's give them 25% off. That way I'm not going to owe them any money. Okay, so we've got the basic structure there. Link wise, go down to the link. You can have the button link and the module link. You can take them two different places or the same place if you want. I'm going to link to a certain product to do that. Let's go down on my products. I was going to use these evening shoes. Simply go over to the view, right click and copy the link address. We'll go back to our page. I'm going to put that in for my button here. Great, but link target will keep in the same window as we're linking to our own site. If I was linking off site to a different site, I'd open it in a new tab so that my site stays open. I'm not going to use the module link. I only really want it to work when they hit the buy now button. Great. So the background, I want a picture of our actual product. So I'm going to go to the background. I'm going to trash that color that's there. We don't really need to because it will show the image either way. Then I'm going to add a background image. And let's find those shoes. There they are. Perfect. There they are. We can't really read our little evening shoes. Get 25% off in the buy now. The button I'm going to change color. But to make this work today, I really want to use a bit of an overlay. So if we go over to our design tab there, first tab we're going to see is overlay. If I flip that to on, we can get an overlay over the whole thing. If I flip it to off, we put the text one on. We've just got an overlay over the text itself. So whatever works for you, I'm going to use the whole background overlay for mine today. I'm going to take the text overlay off. You can change the color here if you want to. That actually is going to work well for me. I can see that pretty well. And the button, so that's going to work. Shape of it, I need to adjust a bit. And we'll adjust the title and text there and the button. So it just stands out a little bit more. So still on the design, let's roll down a little bit. Navigation, well, you haven't got any at the moment. But navigation is the two little arrows. The reason we haven't got any is because we've only got one slide. So you can customize those here. I'm going to leave mine on the default, which is white. And when we add more slides, we'll have dot navigation down here. Again, I'm going to leave that the default color. So let's roll down a little bit more. We've got title text and body text. Title text. Let's bold that up a little bit. I don't want it fully bold, but I think semi bold. And I'm going to make it uppercase. And I'll put a bit of text shadow behind it just to off make it stand out a little bit more. I'm going to use that one right there. Fantastic. 
And if we roll down a little bit more, we've got our body text. I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to leave it in on default font. With Divi, you just get a crazy amount of fonts. If you've ever watched any of my other videos, you know this. To audition one, just roll over it. It will actually give you an example of whatever that font is. I'm going to leave mine on the default today, but I will make it semi-bold like we did above. I think I'll make it a little bit bigger. Default's 14. I'm going to make mine say 20. Just put in the 20. It'll put the pixels in for you. And again, just to make it stand out a little bit more, I'm going to put a bit of text shadow behind it there. Great. All right, well, let's style our little button a little bit more. Down below, we've got the button. I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to click on the button to use custom styles. And let's make it the color of our button up here, perhaps. So I've got a free Google Chrome color picker. Let's get this color. I'm going to copy the color. Get rid of that. And button text color. White's fine. Button background. Here, I'm going to add the color. And there it is. I don't want any board around there particularly. So I'm going to take that to zero. Put a little bit of text shadow around that, just like we did with everything else. Not sure I want to buy now. I don't think I want an icon. There's plenty to choose from here. They've just teamed up with Ons Font Awesome. So I'm going to turn that to off. So we've got no button there. I'm going to put that same little text shadow in there. And let's give it a bit of box shadow on the bottom there. Just to lift it off a little bit more. Great. Well, that's looking kind of how I want it. Let's just set a hover color. Let's perhaps have this crazy green as the hover color. So let's grab that with our color picker. Copy it. Go back up to our button color up the top here. Common to all Divi modules. If you roll over the dark writing, you'll see some little icons appear. Go to the thing you want to affect, button background in this case. If there's a little arrow there, we can click on it. It'll give us a desktop state when the mouse is not on it and a hover state when the mouse is on it. When it hovers on it, let's change it to that green. So I've got the hover selected. Just going to go in there, put my new hex code in. And it's going to be that crazy green when we hover over it. Great. Let's flip it back to desktop now. Okay. Well, that's shaping up, but I kind of want to see a bit more of my shoes there. So I'm going to make it a bit deeper using a bit of padding so it's the shape that we want. So if we roll down past the button now, we've got sizing, don't need sizing, I'm going to use spacing. Let's perhaps give it 150 on top. And maybe a little bit too much, let's give it 100. And similar for the bottom as well. That's a bit more like it. That's kind of the shape that I'm after there. Great. Well, I'm happy with our first slide, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. Which will take us back to the main slider settings here. I'm going to duplicate this for however many products that you want. I'm just going to do a couple more. You see now I've duplicated it. We've got our navigation arrows and we've got our pagination dots down the bottom there. I'm simply going to go into the second one. Decide what we want for the second one. Let's use our evening bags there or something. Again, I'm going to copy the link address. And we'll change that to evening bags. I'm going to go down the link. Switch out the link for my new one. And the background, obviously, I want to change that over to image, I want to change that to our little bags that we had going on there. There they are right there. Fantastic. Great. Well, that's our second one done. Let's move on to the third one. We'll save that back to the slider images, main slider settings again. Now the third one. Let's say full shirts. And again, Choose which product we want. 
I will hit you the evening bell, so we may as well use that one. So again, I'm going to copy the link address. And let's change that to... Everything else can stay the same there. Image and video, we don't need that. The link, I need to paste in my new link again. So we'll delete that, put the new link in there. Then go down to the background and switch it out for our new image. Go over to images. And let's find the images for those belts. I think that was it right there. Great. And if you don't like the way the image is displaying, you can go down image position. Let's say bottom left. We've got more of the belts in there. That's fine. Well, in the main slider settings now, we've got all our slides. I want to make this automatic. Well, I think I'll add a little bit of box shadow and lift it off the page. So let's go over to design. Scroll down. Here's the box shadow for the whole thing. I'm going to pop that one in there. Just lifts it off the page a little bit. But I want this slide to slide automatically. And to do that, let's close up the box shadow. If we roll down, we've got animation. Now, if you go down and you can't find animation is chances are you're in one of your slides because if we go into there in design and roll down to the bottom there's no animation so make sure you're not in a slide you actually save that and you're in the main slider settings design animations at the bottom there this question always comes up when we do sliders so that's where the animation is and you'll find automatic animation let's turn this one on the default 700 milliseconds which is seven seconds i'm going to make mine say five 5,000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. Continue automatic slide on hover. I'm going to leave that off. If you turn it on, it'll just keep rolling even when they put their mouse on it. But I kind of like them to be able to pause it like they are now so they can read the text and it gives them a chance to hit the button if they want to. Plus they can slide to each slide. Oh, we should be good to go. Let's save our changes now. We'll go down and save the page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. Now we can roll on down. Here's our new little slider. It's sliding every five seconds. There's the second one. There's the third one. When we put our mouse on it, it's going to stop. It's going to give us some little arrows and we've got pagination down the bottom that we can navigate to each of the slides with. And we can go to whichever one we want. And of course, when you hit the button, it's going to take you to that product. And there we have it. So there you have it, guys. Let's go back to that page. That's how to create an automated product slider for your Divi theme. Really easy to do. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site. No extra coding or extra plugins used in this today. But if you've got some little products you want to show off in a little slider or a special deal on, that's a great way to do it. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.